Do your homework. Do your homework. Did you do your homework? Did you do your homework? You're going to do it, right? Okay. Just say, hey, uh, by the way, do it. Why do you have to tell so many times? If you tell the if, you, if I came over at your house as a guest and you keep telling your child do your homework, I, t I stop you and I say, why do you tell him so many times? And you say, what? What do you say? Because he doesn't do it. He doesn't listen. And then I have to say, you know what? You're the father. You're the mother. You know him better. You know him better. So the fact that you're repeating so much, you must know what you're doing. Allah repeats taqwa a couple of hundred times in the Quran. Does that tell you something? Who's he talking to? You and me. Ittaqullah, 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 la'allakum tattaqun, la'allahum yattaqun, fattaquhu. He keeps saying it, he keeps saying it, he keeps saying it. What, what does that mean logically? Uh, we don't really do it. <coughs> if we did it, you, how many times do you have to mention it? Done. Done. And let me give you a proof. Allah says fast in Ramadan. One time in Quran. One time. Muslims fast generally or no? Oh man. <laughs> he didn't have to tell us a hundred times, fast in Ramadan, fast in Ramadan, fast in Ramadan. It's done. Finish. Done deal. He says have taqwa hundreds of times. So which one is harder? Fasting in Ramadan or taqwa? Oh, taqwa is hard. Taqwa is hard. Now, I told you there are two ayat. There's there are ayat about Ramadan, uh, Ramadan itself. But there's an ayah before it about fasting. There's an ayah before about fasting. So before I finish the ayah about Ramadan, I want to tell you something about fasting itself. Allah says, كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامِ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ You were given fasting so you could get taqwa. Basically, the premise of the ayah is, you can develop fasting, hopefully, you can develop taqwa, hopefully by the act of fasting. <coughs> What is the, what's the connection between me not drinking and eating and developing taqwa? Not drinking and eating is something physical. Yes? You feel the effects of it physically or spiritually? Physically. But taqwa is something physical or spiritual? Ah, so Allah says do something physical and you will have spiritual effects. Isn't that what He's saying? So we have to understand, how can this be? We have to figure this out. Listen, if you fasted before, and all of you have, it's a hot day. You're with your coworker, and he's gulping like gul, 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 like next to you. And you're looking at him drink, and your throat is begging. Your throat is screaming at you. Just take some water. You're starving. You're starving, and you're you know right before iftar time, right before you're sitting at the table, you can hear the fries frying. You know, and the the fruit chart is being put on the table. You're looking at it. Actually, you're looking at that and the clock, and you're looking at that and the clock. It's like the playoffs <laughs> in the last few seconds. That's what you're doing. It's time, right? It's in your hand. It's here. It's time, right? It's time, right? It's time. <laughs> oh no, that clock is off. Oh God, I hate that. But you know what? You're in anticipation. But your stomach is hungry before the bell rings, or no? Your stomach says, "I want, I want food. Give me." Your throat says, I want drink, give me. But your heart says, hey, throat, shut up. <laughs> Not until Maghrib. Your stomach says, I want food, and you tell your, your heart that fears Allah more, that heart becomes stronger and learns to tell the belly, hey, no. Not until Maghrib. There's a fight going on inside you. For 30 days, there's a fight going in, on inside me. And for 30 days, my heart wins. For 30 days I beat my stomach, and I beat my throat, and I beat my eyes, and I beat my ears, I beat them. The ear says, come on, a couple of songs, oh, no big deal. Just one movie the eye says. No, it's Ramadan. Even those of you that are like addicted to movies, you'd cut it down in Ramadan. No bro, it's Ramadan bro, I can't do it. You guys, some of you guys go to parties and stuff. Not the halal kind. Not those kind. But in Ramadan you cut it down. Your feet say, hey, come on, let's go. Your hand gets jittery with the car keys. You say, no, it's Ramadan. Your heart says, no, Ramadan, we're off. We're off duty this month. Not gonna do it. There's a battle going on inside you, and for 30 days, Allah gives you the power to win. For 30 days. You know, and if anybody's ever joined a workout program, 
lose weight in 30 days, get ripped in 45 days, you know, to become a monster in 80 days, whatever. <laughs> you know, whatever it may be. What happens to most people? They, fought, they watch the first episode, come on, stay with me, stay with me. And what happens after that? Yeah. <sighs> I need a donut. <laughs> They're done after one day. Do Muslims quit fasting after one day? No. They stay 30 days. If they just understood why they're fasting, because my, my belief is most Muslims don't understand why they're fasting. They forgot that they're fasting in order to build taqwa. If they remembered that, if they understood that, if I remembered that, then my heart has been trained for 30 days to 